Hi everyone, this is Ahmed. Welcome to the Power Tutorials. Today's video is going to be the continuation of our previous video where we created this pivot table that is on the screen right now. Uh, I have had a few queries from you guys asking me to confirm if we can add uh, subcategories into this table. Uh, we are going to answer that question today. Let's get started. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Uh, to answer that question, yes, we can add subcategories uh, into this table and as many as we like. We can add as many as we like. Uh, first of all, in case you have not watched the previous video, please do watch it. I'll put a link on the screen for you guys. You will understand this better if you have watched the previous video because we are not going to discuss what we have already done. We will only continue on to that. Uh, so here we put uh, gallery within the gallery so in this vertical gallery we have this horizontal gallery which is creating these values so uh, in order to add one more category let's first create a space for that so let's just reduce the width of this horizontal gallery that we added okay let's do the same with our headers okay all that and let's do the same with our totals as well now let's just select this main gallery that is the vertical gallery and in the group by function instead of grouping it on one field we will group it on two fields so this is the database that we used to create our table uh, Currently, it is only grouped on one column that is uh, this items column. So let's add another category. Let's add region as well in, in the grouping, in the group by uh, function. So let's see what is the internal name of these columns. So items we have already put in, which is field 5. You can see here group by field 5. And let's see what is the name, internal name of the region column. So we go to the list settings and click on this column. And at the end of the link would be the internal name of this column. Region, the internal name is field 3. Okay. So instead of grouping it on one column, we would group it on two. So we would add another column here, which is region column. That is field 3. So now it is going to group things on two columns that is the first field 5 that is the items column and then the field 3 that is the region column uh, similarly you can add further categories into it as many as you like and you will have all of those in your table now to show the region let's add another label in the vertical gallery just copy and paste it set it where you would like and instead of this item dot field 5 this is going to be this item dot field 3 okay let's just name this my region LBL region okay and now let's just go to now we have this let's add the header right now there is no header here we'll just copy this paste this and we'll just type in here region that's what it is we have the category you would have to update the formulas to show the numbers according to both of these categories so right now these are according to only items category we have not put in this filter here okay in these formulas so let's just copy the name of this label which was lbl region that we put in and let's see what is the formula of this label okay so here we have we are filtering it on the year that we have selected that is the that is the main filter at the top this and then we are filtering it on the item that which is this the items column right then we are filtering it on month which is these columns right let's just add another filter which is region which can just put a comma and add another criteria region is equals to 
LBL region dot text and that's it now the numbers will update okay so the total is still 117 which was there for the month of July but now it is divided into two category uh, regions that is East and Central Pensat East and Pensat Central and the total is 117 so there you have it guys we have successfully added another category to our pivot table and you can add as many as you like in the same way uh, I hope this video has helped you and if it has and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like me to cover something else please leave a comment below I'll try my best to do that for you if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video thank you for watching guys see you in the next one